Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, double. Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches, RuPaul's Drag Race, All Stars 7, episodes 8 through 12, the second half, the grand finale, all of the whole shebang. This is the end. This is the end of the season. <laughs> First things first, shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you early access. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties. I had a lot of fun watching this. I think this was a great season to watch. Beautiful gowns, gorgeous Got gowns. Gorgeous, gorgeous gowns. Um, <laughs> Taylor Swift. Okay, great, uh, great gowns, beautiful gowns. No, really, like the outfits in some of these runways that we're about to talk about. Oh my God. Blew my mind. Oh my God. I gagged, gooped. Yeah. Mm, all of the G's. Gobbled and gewildered. Good God, get a grip, girl. <laughs> yes. Cooped, bewitched, bothered, and bewildered. That's there we what go. I was getting at, but yep. with G's anyway. It doesn't matter. Second thing, second. Shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Go to trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine. Third things third, make sure to subscribe, share, ho. Oh, Follow us on Instagram and Twitter and uh, click the like button. Did we get to 10,000 yet? No. Oh, come I, on, guys. Like, come Andrew on. really wants it. <laughs> come on. Do it for Andrew. Make a fake account and then, oh, no, I'm no. not telling you what to do. No, I want it to be real, you know. Right, right, but, right, um, right. But also, I want it to happen. <laughs> it's like 400 away, I think. I, last you know. time you said 40. Oh, uh, well. Okay. Maybe I meant 400. Great. We're at like 9,600 and, you know, just. Great, great. Close, close. I just need to, you know. Post more thought pictures, apparently, is what Twitter, that's how that works. What are works. thought pictures? Uh, like speech bubbles? Thought, no, I love that. I okay. love that that's where your brain went. Is Aww. that not, is that it's not what it is? T-H-O-T, that ho over there. Got, got it. So it's like thirst trap pictures, you know. Great. Is that what Twitter's for? I thought that was, um. Gay Twitter is all okay. about, like, and, okay. and there's jokes about, like, like, I'm new here. And it's just like a shirtless picture. Like, I'm new here. Isn't that most. Abs. Social media, sure. gay places. <laughs> right, yeah. Inst gay Instagram, Instagram definitely. gay Tumblr. Yeah. Isn't that, it's pretty hard. Well, gay course. Tumblr was for porn. Right. Until they changed until that. Until they changed yeah. the policy. Yeah. And, and, and like social justice and like, you know. Nobody's talking about Tumblr since they changed that policy. I know. Yeah, they really fucked yeah. that one up. Anyway, here yeah. we are to talk about episode eight. Yeah. Santa's School for Girls. Yes. Which was a confused challenge. Absolutely. Um, I don't know why they didn't just do... I mean, because they've already kind of made fun of The Bachelor, which I would say is in the, the bachelor, same yeah. genre as Hallmark movies. Right? Like, it's the same kind of humor you would, Okay, sure. Right? right? Yeah, like, yeah. So, oh, oh, you know... Well, The Bitch Who Stole Christmas, if Rue's making a Christmas movie that's right. making fun of it, why aren't they doing a challenge if you want it to be Christmas related? Yes. It's and Christmas it's coming in, out in it's July. It's Christmas in July. Which literally Hallmark has a category for. Why aren't we making fun of Hallmark movies and, you know, oh, I'm the best friend, the, the token color best friend who's right. there to be supportive to the main character who is blonde and nice. Right. I'm the one that has head trauma and is maybe or maybe not seeing hot men. Right. You know, like whatever it like, is. And the pit like, crew's there. And, yeah. Oh. You know, oh, am I going to fall for Chad? I'm so in love with Brad? him. And like, you, yeah. know, <laughs> oh, you know, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. But Brad's lumber a lumberjack the and lumberjack Chad brother. is a veterinarian. <laughs> you know, um, I think it could have been really fun, but instead they decided to do like a take on Black Christmas and Mean Girls, and um, I didn't know why. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I didn't get it. I, I didn't, don't know why. I didn't really follow the plot of the skit. Well, and Not was, at any fault of their own. No, no. Of the queens. Of the queens. Um. Well, and it was like... A movie, but then halfway through it turned into a true crime documentary where yeah. they were talking straight to the camera. Right. And then it was also kind of like a Dateline retrospective. It was kind of like that last episode of um, uh, the TV thing with the, the Marvel... Um, you know, WandaVision. WandaVision. <laughs> so yes, I found this to be confused and yeah. most of the time with these sketches... There's such a disparity between... The roles. The roles, right? And so in this instance, Jinx 
to- gets you know purposely cock blocked or whatever the right you know, cast, blocked. cast blocked yeah the platinum plunder of role assignments yes exactly and uh, but she makes the most of it and actually got the biggest laugh for me so who's laughing now highlights of the uh challenge raja yeah Yes. Was fun. Yeah, fun. Her blowjob joke was funny, right? Sure. It was a li- it was a lot. Well, it was tough because they showed it in the previews yeah. and you're like, "Oh, that's funny." And then they showed her rehearsing it and you're like, "Oh, yeah, we we saw that in the previews." And then they showed it again and you're yeah, like, "Wait, yeah. we already saw this. The three times in one episode is too much." Yeah. She should have had blue lipstick. I was giving my boyfriend a frosty. <laughs> <gasps> oh, come all ye faithful. Oh. <laughs> She gave him a frosty. A frosty, sure. You know. Yeah. But anyway, she's dressed like Lydia from Beetlejuice. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Evie, I thought, did a fun job of being that sort of head bitch. Right. Nice, nice head bitch. You know, <laughs> cheery bitch. Yeah. You know, kind cheery. of like, <laughs> She's a merry bitch. You know. Love it. Very that. Merry bitch miss. Merry bitch miss. Noelle, why are you over there talking to those losers? I don't know why Shay keeps picking the Karen parts. Right. Uh, but she does. Yeah. And um, The Vivienne, I vaguely remember. Like, they were all good. Everyone was good. You know, it wasn't the like... The Vivienne was doing a lot. Yeah. We want to make Christmas great again. Oh, okay. Trump via Joan Faye. <laughs> and, um... And Miss Candy Corn to my office immediately! It was odd. It was she odd. She went for it. She yes. did a lot. I own 51%, but then he, re- she really did turn Trumpy. She it just, she fell into it, and yeah. it was like, oh, okay. Noelle, please, please, Noelle. Call me Nutmeg. Um, it was not bad. It just was not as funny as, to me as, as Rue seems to think it was. Well, right. Listen, Noelle. At Santa's... <laughs> Rue, stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rue is having some coffee enemas this season yeah i guess or that or like the, they were like we need some punchier reaction shots rue why don't you really give it to us and but just... then when something's actually funny yeah stone <laughs> uh but the, the only thing i laughed at was when shay's like oh you guys still believe in santa claus that fat guy in the suit and Jinx was like, do not speak of the bearded one that way. <laughs> and I was like, um, yes? You shall not speak of the bearded one that way. So whatever, this, whatever is going on with Polly, I'm enjoying whatever that, like that made me really laugh. But that was really the only thing that was like surprisingly funny to me. Right. Everything else is pretty standard. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, this season really feels like they've been taking our notes. We'll, talk, of, we'll talk about later episodes where they're listening they're listening but i wish that they would listen and fire whoever writes these skits Ugh. because it's just so tired it's and so tired they're unsuccessful i'm yeah. like just give me something that literally makes sense when you put Honestly, it all together like the queen's writing it would be better give them an outline yes and let them write it yeah. honestly yeah here's a general structure that it needs to here's fill some characters yep these are the sets Yep. You know, these are the costumes you have available. Mickey Rooney, Judy Garland, the shit out of this, you know? <laughs> we gotta get the show together. We gotta get the show together, you know? <laughs> yeah. We'll put it on the barn. Yeah. So category is Nitty Nitty Bang Bang. Now, I mean, I'm sure they didn't tell them that. Oh, I just... Something made sense? Just Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Right. Um, but I don't know what that has to do with anything. Bitch. What does that have to do with anything, bitch? Right. Yeah. I went to, for whatever reason, Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. Like, it just oh. felt, it felt more... Nitty nitty, bing bing. Something. Sure. I don't Faster know. I wasn't... Faster Kill Kill. I, I ju- it, it just happened, uh, right here. Got you, yeah. Right now, yeah. it clicked. Chitty chitty bang bang. Chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang. Chitty bang bang, yeah! But, like, what... What is... I'm a car who can fly. Who can fly and, and I'm knitting. Chitty, 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 no. Dick Van Dyke's there. Yeah, it's too long. Castles. There's a. I don't know. A, a, a like a doll. Weird doll. A doll robot doll. dance. But anyway, the Vivian walks down the runway, and oh my god! In this white, finger knitted. Yes. Gowned. Oh, it was so good. This looked like you're at the most fabulous Swedish spa. Yeah. And you've just gotten out of an ice plunge. Yep. And they give you this. Yes. Yes. It's very fuga. Yeah. This is this is oh. après chic. Yes. So. Knitting needles are coming out of her hair. This was so good. Yeah. It was great. So I was saying that it'd be fun 
because there were 12 episodes. Yeah. If they all did, like, a calendar of all of their looks. Because, like... Oh, that'd be fun. Shay could basically be on the cover of Vogue in any of her looks. She probably is on the cover of, like, Vogue Italia or something. You know, like... Well, she has been on the cover of Vogue. Great. There you go. I think two or three times. Fantastic. And now she's part of the MCU. I know, right? How crazy is that? I'm not going to watch it, no. but I'm excited for her. For her. Especially having the format of no one going... No one goes home! <laughs> no one goes home! They got to show so much. Yes. And so I think they got to showcase talents and just get better brand recognition that now anyone can get a Marvel contract. Sure. It's great. Sure. Love it. Yeah. That's like insane to think about. At this about. point, it's surprising who's not in the MCU, honestly. Rude, but true. Now, is she cast in Knives Out 2? Ooh. Also, everyone is already in Ooh, the game. Ooh, love that. No, but honestly, who isn't? I like Who the is not in, in the, the MCU? MCU? I don't know. I don't know. I've lost track. Yeah. I like the idea that instead of like, oh, she'll attend the opening of an envelope, it's now like, oh, well, she's in the MCU. Right, 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 right. But Shay yeah. in this knitted, her her leg warmers looked like, you know those, that's the stackable ring pyramids, that little yes. baby toy? Yes. And you put them, yeah. and they did it. It looked like that. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Yeah. And this, the big oversized knitted yeah. rings, and it was gorgeous. It was, I loved it. Yeah. Special. Yes. And I also love that Shay and Monet, Shay brings a little bit more fashion. Although Monet's really up to fashion game. But they both bring, like, a lot of, like, statements of... Shay puts a more interesting lurk together. Yes. Monet has really upped her lurks. Yes. <laughs> Yes. It's what I but mean. Shay is basically uncatchable at this point of fashion, the fashion. and culture. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you know, yeah, it's, it's a, really it's it's a, yeah. fabulous. Yeah. But speaking of fabulous, oh my God. I mean, Evie, oddly, walks oh down God. the runway in these sheep herding fringed sheep pants. I don't know. It's like she lost the bottom half of her sheep costume, but it's the most <laughs> fabulous ombre sheep costume you've ever seen. And she's got yarn ball pasties yeah. and this like dream catcher yes, with the knit whole, yeah. uh, balls and the, and the huge knitting needles and I, it was i don't like it was like she was a sheep that was knitting herself away yeah right like she yes. was like, like she was oh and i unspooling her unspooling herself yeah or to like knit a sweater shearing shearing herself into a yeah it was very that i enjoyed it yes so much it was Love great. Her. Love her. I'm obsessed with Evie Oddly. So what? What? I know. I've never said it before. You've never heard it. It's a shocker. But honestly, this season, I just kept yes. getting more excited. And I didn't think that was possible. Right? That's what I'm saying. Like, that's, that's why that's it what's just exciting. shocks me. I'm like, how? But I knew I was. But like, I'm just so into it. I think Trinity and Jada's, because they were in the same Lavender Lane, Lavender they, Lane. They, they sort of... Um, That's a good drag name. That's nice. Lavender mm, Lane. Lavender Lane. Oh, she's so fresh and puts you to sleep. <laughs> Girl, I want to take a bath with her. Uh, Pussy put his ass to sleep. Now he calling me NyQuil. Anyway, that's just where I went. Lavender Lane. Yeah, yeah. Jada has like this really cute... You know, it looks like Rugrats. She said something about a big couch. One of my favorite shows when I was little. The big comfy couch. Uh, it was a children's right. show that I was not aware of. So okay. I was like, sure. It's Rugrats to me. And Trinity had, it was interesting for Trinity. It was different, you know, with this like cheetah bowl cut kind of guy. But somehow because they were both the same color. You just didn't They care. didn't cancel out. I just like, it just was like, oh. It's more of that. They were both very cute. And Monet brought the, the streetwear to the new. Yes. Uh, and it was fun. And Raja is still in Flash Gordon land. I, she's still there. She's still there. She's on planet Flash Gordon. <laughs> and knitted, knitted Flash Gordon now. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, yes. I'm into it. With this mask, the horned, like, visor, and uh, all the hanging jewelry, and it was, it was wild. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. So, yes, that was the fabulous runway. Raja and the Viv are in the top, yeah. and they get to lip sync to Super Freak by Rick super James. Freak. It was super fun. Yeah. Her wig was, you know, bouncing around. It was around really, yeah, she was doing style. a great job. It was really fun. This was a really fun lip sync. Yes, agreed. Not particularly memorable, but I liked it. I did notice more so in the next episode, mm. but Evie's uh, lip sync look... All of her lip sync looks. All of them. Okay. And her makeup. And I just was like. I, I mean, oh the things that Evie is doing this season. I, Her face. I'm not over it. Has been so flawlessly beat. But different. Yes. Like really uniquely different with. Oh, we're going to get to it. Yeah. But quick commercial break. And then we will be back with episode nine. 
10, 11, 12. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so episode nine, I loved this They're episode. Listening. They're listening. I thought this was maybe one of the best episodes of television and drag race sure. that we've had in a long time. Yeah. Both yeah. from the challenge I thought was really fun and good. And like when different. you put it all together, it was different. It was, you know, exciting. And then the runway was extraordinary. And so I was just flabbergasted the entire time. And then the spoken word lip sync and like, they're just trying stuff, doing things. And I was like, it was this a, is- It was a fresh episode. Fre this was the Emmy episode. This is what you put in yes. for that, you know, Rue needs another Emmy. I'm just imagining Emmy Rossum, like in oh. Rue's little pocket somehow. <laughs> I don't know why. Great. Just need another one. Boop, boop. Boop. Stick right in there. Anyway, yes, the TikTok dance challenge. Something yeah. we've been asking for, not specifically yeah. TikTok dance challenge. No, but like this like idea a, of social media, make, make a, a video, social media, do something. Something, you know. Yeah. I still think they should just give them phones and be like, go do something. Sure. Like, let them produce themselves. Yes. A little bit. A little bit more. This was a little prescriptive, although they all felt like Jinx found a way to make it work for her. I also found, I don't know, it felt like the editing was more amped up this episode. Mm. Like, they had that silly montage of like every Everyone going crazy. They're like, we're at this point in the this season Ooh. where everyone's like, Wah! it was very silly and fun and like. There's been all the workroom stuff has been really fun. Very fun. It's like the yeah. drag race of of your that I yesterday. Yeah, yeah but like it's that editing and fun silliness. Right, that right, right, been, right. I, I really enjoyed it. But category is what lies beneath. Oh. Oh my, god. my god. I mean, no one dressed up like Michelle Pfeiffer drowning in a bathtub, but, but. Because that wasn't the challenge. I, I, yeah. This was one of the best runways. I mean, I, there, if possible, there's still a runway that's better than this that we're, we'll talk about. But like, holy crap. This one, I think just because of the intricacy, although. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. The, these On next part, two runways no. are absolutely, absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. So yes, they have to do multiple reveals. And I thought for like the most part, everyone did something really, really interesting yeah. and fabulous. Yeah. Uh, so Very smart, very thoughtful, very personal, yeah. really impressive. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't just, and I take off a coat and I take off it. Like it for was, the most part. For the most part. So first up was Shea Coulee. When she said I'm like a chocolate Jessica Rabbit, I was like, I mean, yes, I see that in this assless gown. I didn't like this. No? Um, it didn't fit. Like, I, she had no tits on, which is fine, but it wasn't, it was well, like... Well, certainly that's no Jessica Rabbit. That's no Jessica Rabbit, but also, like, the dress wasn't made for, mm -hmm. like, s flatness. Right. It was like, there was room for... For tits. For teat. And yeah. it was absent. And sure. when she would move, it was like... Murr, yes, murr. I did notice that. It was weird. Yeah. For Shay, particularly, who's, sure. like, so... I don't know, it just wasn't as exciting. I was excited the, about... The, the face. Oh, yeah, of course. Ha, 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 but... I was excited about this until I saw all of the other. Yes, it was good she went first. <laughs> yeah. But this was not- Cause I was like, oh yeah. shit, yeah, ooh, yeah. Oh, there's a little cheeky reveal, literally. Uh, and then it was like, oh, but wait, everyone else did a lot. More. Not everyone, but most everyone else did a lot more. And and yeah, we were holding Shay to like an extreme standard. But of just course. like for Shay, this was not her best look. That's yeah, I, I get it. Next, I want to talk about Jada Essence Hall. Oh my God, the four seasons. Now, if she had also found a way to fit Frankie, Frankie Valley, Valley in there, I would have really enjoyed that. <laughs> like the little um, Jeff Goldblum on the back of the jacket. Something. <laughs> Some, just Frankie find Valley. a little way to, to just like shove him a in there necklace. somehow. A little that's Frankie Valley. Something. Like a, like a, what are those called where they like, um, the, the portraits, but there's a name. Cameo. Cameo. Yeah. A little cameo of and she's like, necklace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, it's, it's Frankie Valley and the four seasons. Very stupid. That's Very so stupid. Nonsense, not a but... reference Jada would make. Um, and I will stop bringing it up. Yep. But or Vivaldi, perhaps? I thought this was the constructed, maybe oh. perhaps the best. Maybe there was a lot of great ones, but just that um, every one of them, like she didn't take anything off. The, every one of them transformed into a different gown. She had all her accessories yeah, hidden. I was just, and, that, uh, uh, I mean, she comes out and she's a little ski bunny. She's Sonia Henny, like, yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. and then suddenly it's spring. Yeah. And it was so fashionable. And then ferns, and it was very Dolce and Gabbana. Yeah. But like, like with this fascinator. And then. I mean, oh, yeah, that like, oh, um, so like the flower or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And this was one of them where I felt like the transitions were exemplary. Seamless. And yeah, where you're just like, how did she wear all of that? I never. And she didn't look like, you it, know. Right. It wasn't like, here I am a giant. It wasn't, I can't put my arms down, you know. <laughs> It wasn't like, oh no, you got some no. stuff. It was just like, da da, yeah. da da. It was, oh my God. Oh it, my God. I, uh, 
Yeah. So then the Vivienne comes Ooh. down and it's very old crone. Old crone. Begging your pardon, lady. Old crone. <laughs> Oh. oh, she's got her big, you know, hood on. It was very uh, into the woods. Oh, I'm, sure. You know, oh, right. Well, it was literally into the woods, wasn't it? Maybe. Or, or she, cause, oh well, my God, I forgot about... the worst thing about this episode. Yeah, I was trying to avoid it. Ben Platt, you didn't watch Untucked. No. Oh my God. I dodged that one. Oh, <laughs> but he was talking about into the woods of it all, I believe. And and yep. that was this, was also storytelling. You know, it was, yeah. it was the witch turned into... Oh, right. So, yes, she's an old crone, and she then takes that off to... The, 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 like, reveals of it all weren't as exciting as the rest. That's, you know... Yes. But, so she takes that off, and then she's got this, like, iridescent green ball gown kind of thing going on. Yeah. Takes that off to reveal pants, and she's like, I guess she's the prince and the princess? Sure. But then she said the fabric was from, like, a production of Wicked, so I guess it was Oh, that's right. It was Broadway? Kind of... Now, if it was really, you know, like... Ooh, I do love three, that. The four stages of Broadway, and it was, like, all really different... Different. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I mean, what if it's just Sondheim? It was, uh, just Sondheim. Oh, I night. love that. It's the Broadway Divas wig from Will and Grace when he okay. wants to collect all of them. Now I have hair from Bernadette Peters, Betty Buckley, and Adina Menzel. <laughs> all I need is Patty Lupone, and my Broadway Diva wig will be complete. If it's like a Sondheim, you know, instead of art through the whatever, it's Sondheim, right? And then you just end up in a little um, Roman, you know, like funny thing, like sexy trip, like, <laughs> like oh, a sexy toga. Oh, no, yeah. like that's the last one, right? Like, Lovely. <laughs> All I have is love. Yeah. Right? I love it. That'd be fun. I like that a lot. Yeah. You got a Sweeney Todd in there. Ooh, yeah. By the sea. So anyway. Absolutely. Um, yeah, you start off as like the witch from Into the Woods. Yep. Good Company, one. maybe you skip. Not really visually like iconic. Although the ladies who watch, here's the light, you know, you can maybe yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah, wear a hat. Does anyone <laughs> still wear Hat. Did I tell you that I saw Patty LuPone on Broadway doing company? <gasps> Fabulous! It's great. Would you mind if I sang? Shut up, Patty LuPone! Shut your brassy, magnificent trap! Yeah. And I saw Sarah Bareilles in Into the Woods. Amazing. Being the witch? No. Being she's the, the baker's, baker's wife. wife. Can she act? Yes. Great. And she can sing so well. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. So yes, that okay. was that yeah. was the Vivian. Yeah. Uh, Old crone. Old crone. Begging your pardon, lady. <laughs> There's at least something good that came out of that movie. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> so the next was Raja, and I thought this was so fun. Pink flamingo and the neons and the... The pink flamingo headpiece. Yeah. They're florals from another planet. From another like, it was planet. Just, and everything was it's like... It's been a theme of hers. I really appreciate she's it. From, yeah, she is from Planet Raja. She is in a sci-fi movie of her own life. I, I want to watch that movie. Yes, All I, of these, like, warrior women. Yeah. And then these creatures. We'll talk about her final look. Holy fucking shit. And the next look. Oh, my God. But all of these, like psychedelic creatures that I want to meet, yeah. you know, not in Avatar, but like in Avatar, you know? <laughs> sure. 3D virtual reality or in Is the life. new Avatar even in 3D? Does anyone care? I think it is, and I think no. No one cares, right? It's been like 12 years, right? I think it's been longer. What? And there's like four planned, right? Yes, they have, and they shot two of them at least, if not all three at the same time. That Oof. was part of what then took, so it's been a nightmare. I hope it fails abysmally. I really do too. I just really so that I can do. Just, you know, and I hope he put a lot of his money, he didn't, but I hope he put a lot of his money into it. This is what you deserve, James Cameron. He's like zemeckis it, you know, where it's like he, you, got, he did you went jumped, too far. He went too far. You know, you were the leader of the yeah. pack and of And you got technology. too excited. Too, you pushed too it too much. It went doesn't... Too, mm -mm. Mm -mm. You lost what's important about storytelling. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the story. Yeah. Anyway, we were talking but about Raja. Raja. Oh my yes. God, this and Venus flytrap splat yes. bodysuit? Yes. Yes. Loved it. Loved it. Oh my God. Yeah, when there's, there's the little like shades and it's like, oh, are those Venus fly traps? Oh my god, love ah! it. Yeah, it's great. It was like somehow a mature Lisa Frank. You know what I mean? <laughs> sure. It was like not junior. It was I've grown up. Yeah. I still like love it's Lisa like Frank. It's like Barbarella Lisa Frank. Sure. Yeah. Barbara Lisa Frank. 
So then Evie, are we just doing everyone? I mean, I feel like this well, runway. Sometimes it warrants it. <laughs> sometimes we can't skip anybody. It's fine. Evie, oddly, in this like kind of Tatooine, you know, um, mysterious um, desert creature, desert yeah. vibes. It was very like National Geographic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, within this mask, but like Iron Man. Yes, Iron Man, brown recluse. I don't know, but I was into it. Yeah, With yeah. This gooey green fabric. Yes, I first I thought that it was supposed to like stretch into a web. One of them I think broke early. Okay, I couldn't tell. It like broke away. The, yeah, the break like, away oh, no. didn't get timed out properly. Maybe, but. maybe not. Or then I was like, oh, it's goo. She said, okay, fine. Sure. Not a web. But the it's makeup goo. was oh my god, oh, it was so, so good. good, and I really enjoyed this quite a bit. Absolutely. Next up, oh my god, it's Jinx Monsoon. In her best look yes. of the season. I ever, right? This um, was so smart yeah. and beautiful. Yep. And just absolutely exciting because you were like, what's it gonna be next? Like she comes yes. out and it was very remember that um Teresa May yeah. art yeah, that she made herself. That she made, yeah. right? It was like the first one comes yes. out and it was it was Picasso y. Yeah. Um and it was very that kind of like this overly starched graphic, you know, uh, right. suit or whatever. Beautiful. To yeah. reveal Monet, lilies, lilies you know, yeah. oh, soft gown. Oh my and, gosh. And I loved what I really loved about this. They was, each match the tone yes. of the, yeah. Yes. The Sorry, art. But I got so excited. I know. <laughs> yeah, the style and the visuals of like the art, like the fabrics were changed in order to represent yeah. the style of the painting and the, the brush strokes and the, all of it. It was so brilliant mm -hmm. and beautiful. Yeah. And the mechanics all worked, and the right. reveals, and it was just... Well, and the next one was, was this Lichtenstein or Warhol? It was pop art. Yeah. Um, I didn't quite catch which one it was exactly. Maybe it wasn't a specific one. But say, her but yes. her face was on the skirt. Yeah. And then, of course, I mean, save the best for last. Oh, my God. This, this climped... Thing. Yep. Oh, my God. I'm so obsessed with this look. Yeah. It's her best look. So good. So good. Oh, my God. Copper ribbing and... I'm not over it. Oh, my God. I can't even talk about it. <laughs> so good. This was absolutely far and away the best look of the night, which is saying so much. So much. And that was where I just was like, Wah! So the next Monet, is also storytelling. I liked, yeah, there was yeah, a yeah. lot of storytelling through these reveals. And, and it was a story of strong black women. She comes out and she's Harriet Tubman for half of a second. Right, it was, it was a it was quick like, change. Yep, quick change, okay. You know, I always like, you gotta let let the look sink in. Right, and almost, and, and go, make a thing out of the reveal. Where's it going? Yeah. Instead of like, I think she was Harriet Tubman? Yeah. Like it was very fast. Yeah. But yes, then she reveals this very cute Pink Panther look. Oh, did I say Pink Panther? <laughs> oh no! Oh no. Black Panther We're look, leaving yeah. this in. We're leaving it leaving in. Leaving it in. Yeah. Black Panther. Yeah. But it was very cute. It was cute. Like, it was circle like. Circle skirt. And yeah. she's like, mm, or whatever. Um, yeah, you know, it was drag. It was. It was drag. Drag Pink Panther. <laughs> drag Black Panther. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Then to reveal. This kind of bandage dress with writing on it and we still fight. And it's an important message. And so, you know, I appreciated the storytelling of it all. And her body was on point. Yeah. And next up is Trinity the Tuck yes. in this sort of like. Esther Williams does Gypsy Rose Lee floral strip tees. And I was yeah. like, yeah. This reminded me a lot of, um, uh, oh God, season 14, Brain, um, who did, you know, Bosco. Bosco. Bosco, 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 Bosco. 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 <laughs> Bosco. Bosco. This for me was more of like, I think I wanted to see her do a strip tease to a fabulous song instead sure. of just stripping yeah, quick, on the, quickly. Right, like right. the whole point of a strip tease is like the Ooh, tease, right? Yes. And so it was a little bit like, oh no, oh, oh, oh it's okay. It was a little Beauty and the Beastie of it, where it's just like, oh no, one last pedal, oh no. Da -da, yeah. da -da, da -da. But it was it was really it was, fun. It was beautiful. Yeah. So the TikTok dances, I thought overall, it was kind of like, uh huh. And then they were like, and now we'll put it all together. And I was like, oh, that was oh, great. Oh, okay, now it makes sense. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Shay's was really good choreographically or whatever. You know, it was like, like I think it's the most realistic dance. Like, oh, know, that's a dance. I wouldn't say I know a lot about TikTok, so I'm not really an expert on this one, but like it seemed like the most realistically viral dance. Yes. That was like because it seems like actual choreography. People like 
don't like it's like not what's the easy. The TikTok dances you Yeah, like it's oh, not yeah, no, what's no. easy. It's like no. I want to do the choreo. Yes, it's like so you have in, to learn. Yeah. It's like <laughs> roaming in Michelle's high school, like you know, where you like, like we're gonna learn this yeah. and do it and yeah. like that's part of the So point. Shay's definitely had the most like complicated choreography. It was a little serious. Sure. Uh, like a lot of people were like, oh, I'm gonna take the time of explaining it to be jokey or to have fun and to do yeah. this kind of thing. And not just focus on, like, and here's the dance that we're doing. She was kind of doing, like, a Debbie Allen, like, I'm the choreographer, you know. Uh, but it came off less campy and more just kind of, like, serious. Like, no, we got to learn the steps. I have to talk about this burnt orange dress that Jada was wearing in her... Oh, my God. That's, that's, not, that's all. Oh, okay. The energy and charisma that uh, exudes out of Jada Essence Hall uh, is I'm, so uh, infectious. Yes. I almost said confectious. I mean, it's, it's sweet, sweet too. And, yeah. Inf yeah, yeah. I like that. Confectious, yeah. Oh, she's so confectious. I love it. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Unlike, we'll talk about the finale when they were like, here's your badge of what we are naming you when they went down the line. And oh, I, was I know. Like, I was like, gives a shit. Let's move on. That was so weird. Annoying. Yeah. We're going to call you the whatever. I was like, what the fuck are we? No one's doing Shh. Shh. <laughs> anyway, yes, I love Jada. Yes. And I'm excited because I think that there's like, a newfound boost of confidence that's coming. She got so screwed with her season. Yes. That, For like, multiple reasons. Yes. Yes. But you could tell that like the psychology, it was, it was. She's just. She's now, she's set for success. The she's trajectory just, is up. But yeah. oh my God, this orange burnt. Oh. Orange all bath. of her looks. All of them. But I, so I just had to mention that. Yeah. Um, I don't it. remember what the dance was particularly. It was fun and it was she fun. was fun. But oh my God, the orange dress. So anyway, next up, Evie Oddly. Uh, this was the most unique. Uh, remember she was doing like the, now you put your hands in your pocket. Stick your hands in your pockets and hunch your shoulders to take up less space in the world. <laughs> like there was just yes. a lot of really specific <laughs> funny things. Yes, it was very much of like, this is me turning my personality into a, a dance. funny thing that's also a dance. And now we realize we're covered in so much goop, we have to laugh about it. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Oh my God. So. Jinx Monsoon as this peanut butter MILF. Yes! Today, I'm going to teach you a sensual and useful dance to attract the attention of your adult son's male friends. I don't know where she came up with this idea. I don't know. But like, she jinxed it. Yes. Like, you know, like, it's like, uh, you know, what is she supposed to do with this? Right. As, oh, she's as, as not the... good at dancing or sewing. We found that out. Yes. But. Like, or particularly good at dancing, let's say. You know, like, like she's not gonna come up with some crazy choreo. No, no, no. I'm also a vibrant, vital, sexually active woman. Mom, ew. I have sex! Get over it! <laughs> this make a peanut butter sandwich and um, yell at your son while you're trying to do the TikTok. Yeah, if, you he, know. if he wants a peanut butter sandwich, he, he can, can get a job! <laughs> Because if your kid wants a snack, <laughs> he can get a goddamn job! <laughs> a cool mom. It was very it that. Was, I think she literally said, a cool mom, something like that. So it was great. Um, this was fucking hilarious and fabulous. And, yeah. and anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. Well, I don't think I could. I feel like I would choke and die. Oh, with the actual, yeah. Yeah, that mm -hmm. seems like a hazard. Yeah, you need milk on hand or well, that, water. That yeah. not milk? Milk? Yeah, what yeah. the fuck was he pouring on himself? White out? No, it's not allowed on set anymore. That's right. What? Because of Bendela. Oh, uh, whiteout. <laughs> There's like a pitcher full of whiteout. No. No. <laughs> Next up was Monet Exchange. And I thought she had the best gimmick. I don't know what, like basically it was the dance you do when you get paid at the end of the week. Like right. the, the story she was telling, I feel like is very universal and people would connect with. Yes. And, and, it, and it also was on brand for her obviously. Monet exchange. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, you're right. It was very smart of a thing that people would do like, oh, it's time to post that video of it's it's Friday. I just got, got paid. Paycheck. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. You know, yeah. she told a good story. Yes. And Monet's, you know, charismatic and, yeah. and is a great dancer. So yeah. she really sold it. And that yes. was fun. That's true. So Jinx and Monet are in the top two. Yes. And I get it. I mean, do I want to see Evie do this spoken word lip? Yes, I do. Yes, yes I do. But they were both great. I want to talk about Evie's, I'm not lip syncing lip sync look, where she's a paper doll troll, black and white, gray. I'm so sad we were robbed of this. I'm so sad so we were sad. robbed of so many Evie lip syncs. And I'm just like, I oh. know. Oh, so good. And Jada's like tan and green jumpsuit just uh, i want her to have her own fashion line yes 
More than pretty much any other queen. Shay like, and her. But the, hers are more... Shay's more of a street, stylist. Yes, yes. Which okay. is not a read at all. Shay's fabulous. But Jada, I believe, literally designs and makes that's all of true. it. That's I think. True. That's I could be true. wrong, but I think. And just Most everything is so impeccable. Oh, my God. Like, the way she stones is more oh, interesting oh. than anyone else. Like, just every yes. single fucking detail. Yes. That's yes. all I would say. So yes. I, I need her to uh, get on that. <laughs> but anyway, the lip sync. This oh, yeah. uh, spoken word designing women, yes. uh, the night the lights went, went out, out in Georgia. She spoke so eloquently of patriotism, battlefields, and diamond tiaras. Grown men wept. This they need to do more of these. I love that. I love that everyone. This just... should be a challenge. Not where everyone does the same spoken no. word, but like where everyone does a spoken word, you know. That could be fun. Yeah, I don't know how what the challenge is per se, but I get it. Did you nail the spoken word lip sync? Sure. You're in the top. There now lip sync. Yeah, or also maybe like part of it is your selection. Like maybe well, you. Well, yeah, I do want that to happen. Like I've been saying it for years. Like I want lip sync to somehow. Well, right. But the rights and it's. A well, and that's and but that's also but, usually multiple things. But I want it. Whereas this was kind of fun, where it's just one thing. You know, it's I mean, just yeah, like it's, a monologue, kind of like the before and afters, right? Of like. Yeah. Lots of people can have fun coming up with ideas. What monologue? There's been you a do? lot of, of tweets and stuff about mm. like, ooh, this needs to be a spoken word. Well, also Monet's like moon child Kardashian Dick Tracy look into it. Yeah. Into whatever the fuck that was. I liked it. <laughs> Moon child Kardashian Dick Tracy look. Yeah. Now, what did you think about who should have won this? It was really, really, really close. Yes. I kind of want, I kind of was giving it to Jinx. Yes, and I gather from your comments there are a couple of other things you don't know, Marjorie. It was more acting. Sure. There was more... Which is what it's about. I think that's what's so interesting, right, is that Monet this is... was fucking great. Yes. But, like, something about the faces Jinx was pulling seemed... I don't know. I don't know what it was. It, I was, don't... it was, like, a decibel. I remember it being so close. It was like, very it was, close. It was, a, it was, it was tough, very close. It's a tough one to do. Because, like, also you can't do the splits and you can't do all of this crazy stuff. It's mm -hmm. really just about emoting too, and Jinx's, acting and showing. Jinx's runway was so good. That so I, it good. It kind of pushed me over the yeah, edge. I was like, yeah, but, uh. yeah. But, you know, who cares? No one's actually winning. It doesn't matter. Um, but for me, I, there, it was like a decimal point difference that I thought there was a few more moments where Jinx did a few things with her eyes that I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? And that Marjorie. <laughs> This is like an episode two. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Or one? Maybe two. I think it's it's either the pilot or like the second episode. Wow. Is that we've been watching Designing Women. Where does it air? It's on Hulu. Okay. It's um uneven. Great. They haven't found their stride yet. No, not through the first season. So. Oh. It, it, like the women are great. Yeah. And it goes for like six or seven. There's a lot oh, of seasons yeah. of it. Oh, yeah. So like clearly something gels more. I've seen more. here and there. I never watched all of it. The editing is weird. There'll be like commercial breaks just out of nowhere where it'll be like, and and that scene, okay. I didn't, wasn't expecting that. Huh. Odd choice. Do you think it's because it's streaming and they had to do like Maybe, but I don't think so. I think with it's the soundtrack just weird. and the rights and whatever. I think okay. it's just weird. It's like when they put Dawson's Creek up and... Netflix and they changed all the music and it was like, what is this? <laughs> this is not what is imprinted into my child brain. Great. Excuse me, what? <laughs> anyway, yes. yes, spoken word lip syncs. Let's bring it back. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Great idea. I mean, we'll have to think about, you know. Monologues. I think Malibu Barbie, obviously oh, a great option. my God. Graceful. Delicate. Delicate. Now the hard thing is, what's really interesting... It has interesting, to be long enough. Well, it has to be long enough. But also, it can't be such a specific performance that, like, mm -hmm. you don't want to just recreate it. You yeah. know, like, that's a different thing. That's a and, like, different people thing. do that. There's that guy um, that's funny, and he, you know, he does, he, like, recreates all the scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, yeah, that's fun and funny. And then at a certain point, you're kind of like, but why don't I just watch Death Becomes Her instead? Like, sure. I don't know why I'm watching you do this, but I guess that's fun. You put a lot of effort into this. No, I mean, what kind of turn was that? Do a PK turn. Huh. That's it. Okay, music! I think we could just shake it up, and that's what this episode was all about. And Absolutely. I'm like, keep doing it. Keep yep. shaking. Yeah, well, and then next episode. Oh, my God. After commercial break. <laughs> episode 10, Kennedy Davenport, Centers, Roast, Extravagant. 
counts it honors royal. Yep. You nailed that. So that, yeah, it's the roast. It was a roast. roast. I appreciated that it was let's roast because uh, it gives you way more, you know, firepower or right. whatever. Right, it's not just roast, it's the bottom. <laughs> uh, so I appreciated that quite a bit. Yes. And thought it gave them a lot more room to wiggle and it was really funny. Yeah, I mean, they were funny queens, so, you know, it was good. So the episode starts and um, Raja finally discovers the secret of the plunger is there is no secret to the plunger and that was the sort of fun thing that was going on in the background. I really, really wish that the producers... I've been like, let's give the were, last person like, to get plunged a secret a something. Secret, right. Oh, they were all fucking with you. But guess what? There is a secret of the plunger and now you can rub it in their faces because you get some sort of advantage or whatever something nonsense Something silly, silly thing. something. Just something to be like, ha ha! You know, you were the last one to get plunged. Right, so, so something. you get a $5,000 gift certificate sponsored by Tushy. Great. Something that would have been fun and silly. Yeah. There is no secret of the plunger and it sounds like some colon, like sequel. Alex Mack, you know, <laughs> the secret of the plunger. Something yeah. Like that. What was that owl movie? The Owls of Gahul or whatever? B Bagul. Gahul. Oh. Guardians of something. The secrets of Gahul. Owls. Owls. Of owl. uh, who cares? Who cares? I didn't see that movie. I didn't either. Anyway, the Kennedy Center roast honors extravaganza. Right. But to introduce. Sergeant Peppermint. <laughs> it was really weird when they were like, and here's Winter Green. I was like, what? <laughs> I, I, That's not who that is. I mean, it's yeah, Sergeant Peppermint. It's just to us, but yes. No, but like I've and I've fully, accepted yes. it as fact Great. in my head, I and it. I was like, That's inappropriate. <laughs> no. Why are you trying to change your name? <laughs> Good. Obviously Sergeant Peppermint. Uh, obvi it really was just such a better Such a better It's like such a no brainer to me. That's why I was like, huh? Oh, right. right. We've met, yes, um, yes. But yes, yeah, Sergeant Peppermint comes out uh, looking like Ginger Minge. Yeah. Still in the show. I had crystallized. Oh. <laughs> and now I'm a Glamazon bitch ready for the runway. Yeah. Can I get an amen? Amen! Up first is Raja, who was my favorite, I think. Wow. Or up there. Is she was there? the absolute shadiest. Yes. Like the, the the cutting is. Yes. Which is my favorite. I mine too. You know. But it wasn't mean. The Vivian has joined us from Liverpool. Which is ironic because her liver is drowned in a pool of booze. <laughs> <laughs> it was that no. perfect balance it was of a, like, it was, right, you know. ah, I really, that was a good singer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You got me. Monet lives in LA, but her hairline lives in Reseda. <laughs> It's great because it's a yes. word play. It's word play. And also LA geography yeah. play. It's, it's I great. I really enjoyed it quite a bit. But her hairline lives in Reseda. <laughs> <laughs> the Viv's on so much ketamine, they're betting on her at the Kentucky Derby. Like it was just like, oh, it was really good. And apparently yes. they cut oh, yeah. so many jokes that were funnier. Um, so I'm like, give me the jokes. Give me the jokes, and also I thought, particularly given her runway look, mm. that it was offensive that she wasn't in, in the, the top. In the top, I agree. We will get to the runway. But I really enjoyed Raja and thought, yes. like I said, she was the cuttingest, yes. um, which I really, really appreciate. Yeah. No, but I thought that overall, too, this was a fun roast in that, like, it was sometimes the same jokes that we've heard, you know, oh, but, Rue's so old, but it was like a fun, fr like, Rue's so old, she's the Rosetta Stone of drag. You know, right, you're right, like, right, okay, right. this is funny. Like, you're making me laugh, you know? You are such a kinky bitch. You've been edging Shangela for like 11 years now. <laughs> and we all just sat and watched, so I guess we're complicit. Oh, Rue's been edging Shangela for, you know, <laughs> you're like, yeah. No, no. I don't know what that means. <laughs> you don't know what edging means? No. If you don't know what edging is, you are very naive. Um, Wh a wig. No, it's, it's not. It's it's um sexual. Okay. It's like where you you come just close to a climax and oh, then. Oh no. And so then it's drawing it out for you know and then. Okay. Ultimately. Now that joke makes more sense. Yes, there you go. Yeah. 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 Now you know what rimming is. But Evie, no, um, I thought Evie was okay. Yeah. But I really enjoyed. Honestly, even Jinx has had some plastic surgery done. I'll give you time to look for it. <laughs> I'll give you time to look for it. 
I thought there was something catchy and funny about Shay saying skinny little bitch. I don't know what it was. <laughs> it was another way. Skinny, skinny little, little bitch. Jada Essence Hall is such a skinny little bitch. Skinny little bitch. Skinny little bitch. It was very, you know, you know you're a redneck if like she got like a, you know, a little skinny little bitch. She says, skinny little bitch. I don't know, something about it, I was like, I enjoyed that. I get that. It wasn't great, but I enjoyed that. Well, but you know, there's something that's important about, it's not just the joke, but the way you tell it, the, the way, way you, you say you it. You give it little things, you yeah. know, that make it stick as a thing. Oh my gosh, so the next up is Jinx in this like, Calamity Jane goes to a graduation? <laughs> Purple velvet suit? With like the yeah. loose tie? Yes. It was very like Doris Day does Calamity Jane at an event. You yeah. Know? Like at a like she got like she got dressed up. Yes. But she's still but Calamity she's still, Jane. Yeah. I don't know. There was something about it that I was like obsessed with. It was it was a look. I feel like Jinx um, has been bringing different historical and time period references that other people have not brought yet, and yeah. that's why she's keeping it interesting for me. Sure. It's because um, she's a witch. That's true. I mean, obviously, she's a pro. It was great. Yes, yes. Um, you know, I don't want to contribute to all of this objectification of Evie Oddly, but I did have to stop doing cocaine in the middle of sucking. When I was doing a line of coke off of it, I had time to stop and reflect and realized I've become my mother. <laughs> and I realized I have become my, my mother. mother. <laughs> Just like the timing of it was so good because like it's obviously like a repeat joke from, from the Snatch Judy Game, Garland, but like yeah. she flipped it on its head and yeah, yeah. had time to reflect and realize yeah. I've become my mother. Anyway, here's some dick jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Framing it in, I do not want to keep you right, know, objectifying right. yeah, 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 Evie no. Oddly and her, but I will. Okay, so here are some <laughs> dick jokes. You know, it was just like, it's great. It's yeah. so, she's so good. Evie Oddly's dick is so big, when she tucks, she has to tape it between her shoulder blades. <laughs> she told jokes that were obvious, but she got there in an interesting way you didn't expect. You yes. know, oh, she, Trinity, you know, she let her last boyfriend, she let her last boyfriend down easy, you know, like, let's just be cousins. You know what I mean? Like, but you didn't know where it was going until it landed, and yes. you go, oh my God! Oh, it was good. It was really funny. But yes, the story of the evening was that Trinity was actually funny. Yeah. Comedy runs in Monet's family. Her mother delivered at least one joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It felt like they were like, yay, most improved. You get a star. It was, yeah, it was like you uh, exceeded our expectations the most. Yes. And sometimes that's great. Yeah. Um, but I would say combined with Runway and Roast, uh, Raja, Raja should have been in the top. Yeah. That's right. just, I would have put her even in the top three, but Raja and, and In Jinx. the top top. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what are you gonna do? Yes. No one goes home. No one goes home! And she was pretty, pretty cutting. She went in on Monet. Monet exchanged classically trained musician. She's been great at playing second fiddle to Bob the Drag Queen. You know, it's like, <laughs> it, was, it was some fun stuff. She had the attitude right, she had the confidence. Yes, you know, it yes, was, to go into it a was, roast. It was and... fun to watch, like it wasn't like, I'm uncomfortable. Oh, and I'll just mention because um, I'm biased. Jada was bad, but the fact that she was like, this is a mess, That's, girl. And was I had laughing. a really fun I, time. I had a fun time. Yeah, that was not the way that joke was supposed to go. <laughs> and the joke after that was that she's a hot mess, but baby, it won't land right now at this moment. That's all right. <laughs> It was a horrible disaster, but it wasn't because she turned it. The she... next joke was that she's a mess girl, but that is not going to land in this situation. <laughs> so it was just, it was really good. It was really fun. But she, I love when people, you know, just go, I thought, uh, I thought this shit up. Yeah, yeah. But like, I'm going to smile but through it. She carried it off. She did. Uh, and with, I love with that her. Jada charm. Yes. Category is all glowed up. Oh my oh, god. Oh my god. Well, first of all, we asked for this and we received. That's and true. Boy, did it pay off. I loved this runway. Probably the best runway? Wow. Don't you think? I mean, probably. Across the board. Yeah. And like the inventiveness the and the inventiveness. fact that it just, this is like, you're never going to forget this runway. No. Speaking of, Raja. First out, Raja. This was, because I, I think I missed All Glowed Up when I heard the. So, okay. So I was like, oh, okay, what's this look? Interesting. And then all of a sudden, lasers start shooting out of she her. She turned the runner and I was like, oh, I mean, the, the hollowed oh, out the shoes. shoes. Oh, oh, the shoes. I'd wear to the supermarket the buy some quinoa, perhaps. Get the shoes. And this like butterfly exoskeleton yeah. caged yes. laser crystal oh, chrysalis. Yes. With the little delicate antennae. 
It was so fucking good. So it was good. So fucking so good. So fucking good. This was insane. And she was the only one that did like laser beams. That's true. Everyone else um, was like glowing from the within. Which is fine, but like it of was. Course. That's what made like, it even and more And also special. because she went first, it was like, ah. yeah. You know, yeah, I was like, what? I literally like fell off the couch. <laughs> fell off. Like I think the, all, your mouth is down here and mine was like down over here. Why I do drag is to shock, to titillate, oh to God. ultimately, you know, create a vignette that is something that I consider beautiful. Holy Call her Brian Dennehy because she's doing great things after coming out of her cocoon. <laughs> <laughs> she's shooting lasers out of her yes. bodice. <laughs> It's crazy. So good. Crazy. So good. For this alone and her performance, yeah. she, she should have been in the top. I agree. Neither here nor there. It was fabulous. It really, in the end, didn't matter at all. Nope. Or worked out in her favor. None so. of it did. None of it mattered. No one goes home. Oh my God. So the next is Evie, oddly in this like fern gully glowing it was, mushroom. Oh my God. It was very fern gully and I was like, I want to go to there. Uh, right? <laughs> Fuck Avatar. I want this. Yes. This, she had the most elegant glowing. Yes. Glowing. You yes. know, like something about, and, and the tears of the mushroom, and it, it was light enough around her face to, to just, she was fucking glowing. Glowing. She was glowing up. <laughs> so and so good. cute the, and the playful wig and, and fun and beautiful. And different oh for Evie. Yes. You know, like a gown, you know, yeah. of course it's a mushroom gown, you know, to be in the uh, House of Oddly, we gotta like keep with this mushroom theme. Mm. Oh my God, this was perfection. Love this. I loved it. Next out, Shekule in this sunflower fairy happiness. The the makeup was so cute. Yep. It, it was, was very cheerful and fun. Kind of Disney ride, if that makes sense. It was kind of like Rainbow Bright, and yes. she was the yellow one. Sure. You know, it was something she was cartoony. It was yes. just like cutesy. The yellow and like the shoulders up, that all worked for me. Mm. But I felt like the rest of it kind of I don't remember. I feel like the skirt could have been filled in more. Sure. It was like a few petals had fallen, if we're being nitpicky. Sure. It was beautiful, but like yes. it could have had a little, been a little more filled in. Sure. It was a little, you know, a, you love me, you love me not. Oh no, wait till you're done with the runway. <laughs> but it was beautiful. We love you. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, and the next Jinx Monsoon. Hecate, Hecate, Hecate. This was so smart and cool. You're kind of like, oh yeah, this is, oh, she's literally being burned alive. And oh, the my God. performance, yes. the laughing. Yes, oh. Um, ah. The only thing is I wish she had found a way. So like the belt was like the noose, you know? Oh, I don't think I even noticed. Yeah, it was like a tied rope wow. noose. But I wish somehow she had like incorporated like where it was like a necklace slash harness that turned into the belt something. Oh. So it was like she was hung and burned. Right. I mean, I know that's kind of dark. Hanged, but yeah. Hanged. Sorry. That's fine. Alive. I mean, it is dark, but that's the point. Yeah. And also if it was like a glowing noose. Something, something, it was so fucking good. I'm not complaining at all. No. But like there's where if it had like kind of somehow been incorporated as jewelry also. Or sure. Or if she had like an A brooch. That for the scarlet letter? Yeah, that, that, that um, glue red, glowed red. Hanged? Well, ha I'm just fucking with you. This was so fabulous. The makeup was all this sort of like pared yeah. down creepiness and and the way that it pale was. Pale and tragic. Um, pale and tragic. And the way that it was blazing. It, it was so good. It was so good. Really good. Yeah. Maybe she found a way to like have an anarchy cross or... Sure. I wanted like one piece of jewelry for some reason. She was wearing a necklace, but anyway, that was the, the minorest of notes. If it had found a way to be like the noose was hanging I mean, I... and then came down and then wrapped around her sure. waist to then... Some, yeah. Something. Yeah. So the next is Trinity the Tuck in this Main Street Electrical Light Parade. <laughs> She was just. She brought I mean, the whole party. I love that. I, it, this I was unsuccessful love, for me. Yeah. And I apparently there was like some comments and stuff that I guess she uh, had an issue with her lights or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. It seemed crapped up. Yes. You know, she was her own parade. Right. There was no clarity uh, of concept. I couldn't. I couldn't discern it. Right. So it was just kind of like, ooh, glowing lights. Ooh, fun. look, you're shiny. You know, uh, and it wasn't as interesting to me as others. Yeah. Still very cool. Still yeah. fun. You know, still not yeah. unsuccessful. Next out was Monet Exchange, and this I thought was the opposite of Trinity's. It was too subtle. Uh, she was all the constellations. Right. And it didn't light her face. Yeah. And it was like, you know, cosmic, but it right. didn't have that punch. If she'd had one big, you know, oh, she's a Scorpio or something. So right. she has one big constellation that goes Go, all the way up. And it glows and it eats lights and up or like, whatever. it's like, oh, that's Capricorn. That would have been cool, but it was sort of just, and maybe there was constellations there, but it was hard to discern. 
and it was just too subtle yes. for me. Next up is Jada Essence Hall. This is also kind of Main Street Electrical Light Parade in the sense that she was like yeah. Ariel, Little Mermaid. Like she's a mermaid yeah. on the rocks glowing with mm -hmm, this tail mm -hmm. and it was a this, whole set piece. Like this it was, too was also almost crapped up. Yes. But so good. And like the the different glowing and the yeah. the different shades of light and the way that she made it look like she was sitting on that rock and yeah. just like the workmanship. Crazy. The hair lit up. Like her hair was like glow. It was crazy. Great. But just she was Ariel. Yes. Like, uh, if only if her voice was glowing. But I mean I don't know how you do that. Oh thing. yeah, the necklace. Swallow like, uh, like Ooh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, don't don't, don't. swallow don't eat glow sticks. Don't, don't do eat it. Glow sticks. So then last out was the Vivienne in the least successful look of the night, perhaps because this simple Jack grass wig. What was this? What was this wig? It was very simple it Jack. It totally like ruined, the outfit was okay. And then I was like, what's this wig, wig. though? It looked like grass. Yeah. Because you took a hula skirt. Yeah. I made a bowl cut, but she has these big angel wings. And yes. The angel wings reminded me of uh, Xenon the sequel. When there's that alien spaceship that we just okay. we just played. Yeah. And it and it like has these little glowing lights. I actually really liked the mechanics of the wings. Uh -huh. I thought it looked pretty and like the way that the lights were in them, it was like Ooh, it was eleganza. Eleganza, like nice wings. It wasn't my favorite. And no, this wig. Disaster pile. Like she should have had a halo. Yeah. If that's what you're going for. Have a glowing halo. Or if you're right, if you're going for like angelic wings or have like a, a Valkyrie type thing or whatever yeah, your it was, vibe it was of the wings almost is, there. tell me more. But this wig, I don't get it. It was a no. Yeah. It does belong in the disaster pile. Yeah. It's been a minute, but I think this warrants it because it ruined the whole thing. Yes. Like, so that's, I think, one of the telltale signs of a disaster <laughs> pile wig, right? But anyway, Trinity and Jinx are in the top. Yes. And they lip sync to Kings and Queens by Ava Max. And this was fine. It was um, totally fine. Yeah. You know. The editing shenanigans that they. Did you see that? They were talking about like, there's a cutaway where uh, the girls watching are like, like, oh, uh, like something happened, but they didn't show that. I guess Jinx like tried to do a cartwheel and something happened. Oh, no. I mean, I don't know. I also, I remember people said that like this episode, I guess there was a lot of. They had to do the runway like four times because yeah. like one with the lights on, one with the lights off. One, one with, with the spotlight on yeah. your face. One with the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a long day. It was that very Angelica Houston. <laughs> oh, I like that. A glowing Morticia. Ooh, yes. Yeah. So episode 11, this was kind of just a burner in my opinion. In that it was like, oh, it's another talent show. They already did one of those. And I would and, say... oh, we're going to conveniently... I mean, it turns out Shea Coulee did go to school for math. She, she did go to school for math. <laughs> At this point, it was just like, well, nothing matters and who cares? And this episode was even more like a right. tribute to that. Like, the winners get three stars. Okay. I don't know. I like, thought that was so rude. Yeah. Where, like, it was obvious that they were like, well... Oh, this didn't work out how we had planned it from the onset. So let's make it work out. Right. Shea can't get there. It's impossible. So I guess let's make it possible. And you're like, but why? Why not just be like, well, that's a bummer. It didn't work out. Or uh, like, And then she wins the she done already and had hers. Exactly, was, exactly. But and no, they like, wanted to give that to Raja. That was exclusively for Raja. It was a, <laughs> and um, the win was exclusively <laughs> for Jinx. And yes. that's just so that's how, how it's written. Out. Yeah, that so was it in shall the, be done. In the stars. I didn't care for this particularly because everyone not everyone, but most everyone did similar things. Everyone yeah. did an original song, which is fine. And that, you know, you're promoting your album. Of course, some of them were more successful than others. Yeah. But as a talent show, it was like, and this, and oh, and then they sang a song, and then they yeah. sang a song, and they had uh, like three props, and they right. sang a song. Yep. And, you know, it was it, funny. I, um, I avoided spoilers mm. for most of it. And I did get spoiled for the winner, but like, yeah, I we was knew not that surprised. like five episodes ago, uh, yeah, so that's exactly. fine. Unless Jinx was going to Bendela herself, right? There, there was Bendela no Krem she, was, she did. I mean, she had she won five of the six of the eight episodes or twelve of that, whatever it was. Anyway, but uh, driving to my my Spotify like Discover Weekly or whatever, uh -huh. it was just all of their songs. It was just like oh, all of these drag queens, and here's all of their songs. So you sort like, of got to like hear them all before, in like yes, it's like a different kind of test for which one was actually a bop. A little bit. And it was interesting because I was like, oh, interesting. Monet is just coming out with an opera song? You were like, huh. huh. <laughs> Especially because I didn't know the challenge. So it was like, huh. okay. 
Why? Yeah. Well, something must have happened. So, like, obviously now they're all releasing their albums. They're all releasing their numbers or whatever it is. Yeah. But it, it was like, oh, okay, now it makes more sense that it was those specific songs. We'll talk about them rapid Briefly. fire yeah. and and every, everyone was good. Yeah. No one was a dud. Yeah. There was varying degrees of success. Correct. But it was basically, how do we get Shay to the finale? Yes. Um, which is fine. I love Shay. But um, it was a little bit like, all oh, right. And I thought she did really great. Oh, my gosh. And we will talk about it. Yeah. So first out, Trinity the Talk doing yeah. a tribute to the South or a parody sure. tribute to the South. Cute. It was cute. Uh, very hee-haw. She poured tea on know, herself. Ice tea, wet tea shirt contest. You know, yes. it was cute. Oh, my gosh. And then Evie. I thought this was so fun. It was the only surprise of the night. Sure. Uh, this box reveal of, like, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> it's box! It's box! <laughs> It's Bugs! What's going to be in the box? It's oh Evie! My God. It's Evie! Evie's in the box! And one of the backup dancers is dressed up like her. Yeah. <laughs> and... It was very, um, Jasmine Masters in the Beekeeper's outfit, right? It was like, like, who's that? Could it be? Who could it be? And she pops out of this box in this Joanne oh Pink two-tone... Oh, this look... Outfit. It was super was fun. was so good. And then her, her just cartwheeling and flopping around was, the stage. She was the, the only one... That like some people could look at this and go, well, she didn't have any. Pro well, she had the box, but like she didn't have any props on stage. She didn't right, have any backup that, dancers. She and I was like, Cause she doesn't need them. She like she didn't. was like, I'm the show. Yes, like, charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. I was just. I brought the whole box oh with me. It's all here. I could watch hours of this. Yes, and her song was really catchy and it fun. It was good. You think you're serving, huh? Cause you can cater it. Oh, my style unique cause I can see that and create it. Yep. Next out, Jada. I almost said Pinkett Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Jada Essence Hall in this like Missy Elliott 90s rap tribute. <gasps> I was so, so obsessed good, with this. So fun, on brand. Yep. Her lyrics, you could hear them. I understood they were what she was smart. saying. And they I were well delivered. And I connected the dots and went, that is what this song is about. I would like to retittle the retattle to that rebuttal. <laughs> Uh, let's go. It's Jada Essence Hall and I'm coming for the win. Instead of like, hey, eh, the gist of it. Yeah, it was really well done, I thought. I was so, good. so impressed. This look. Yes. It's like, I'm going to say basketball, but sports. It was basketball. I think it was basketball. Like basketball corset. Yeah. Oh, uh, with the, the knee-high lace-ups and, oh my God. This is when I was like, why isn't she doing like J-Lo and, oh and Beyonce's like yes. performance looks? Yes. Like, what is yes. that? What, Call her. Yeah. J-Lo, who's watching this, call her. <laughs> please. And tell her I need some looks. Honestly, though. Seriously. I'm like, yeah. every fucking stitch, every sequin is perfect. Uh, it's crazy. Yep. This had so much energy. It was fun. Light. It was so Jada. Yep. Loved it. I thought this was really great. So the next is Jinx Monsoon. And this was very fun. I mean, you know, like the, the real kicker was when she oh, swallows oh, them. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, you know, it was very silly. It was, um, you know, Jane Jetson on her night off, you know, out on the town. It was very, you know, this is when Jane, she goes to do, she performs, you mm -hmm. know, to get away from Mr. Jetson. What the fuck was his name? I don't he know. He sucked. That's I all I remember. No idea. He was annoying. I never watched the Jetsons. Never watched the Jetsons? So anyway, this was Jane's night off. <laughs> and she was going to go sing at Club Coming and do a <laughs> boozy ballad, you know, showstopper. I yeah. freaking love this. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I didn't love the outfit. It was strange, but I kind of, like, it was very Jetson. I guess. It was, like, was like, it? I didn't like the fabric, I guess. Well, tight satin. Tight satin? No human being should wear tight satin. Tight satin? It's hard. It's no like, human being should tough. wear tight satin. This is so much more my genre. Sure. It's like if I was picking whose show I was going to based on this one number from their variety show, I'm like, I'm going to Jinx's show. But that's because I you, love yes. this kind of like sure. sta old standards, I classic get music. I get that. So I was loving it. I um, get that. Oh my God. And the next, Shay Coule. Miss Jackson, if you please, <laughs> yeah. if you're nasty. nasty. I mean, this was amazing. <laughs> yeah. I think this was probably like the best song, right? Like the most kind of, you'd hear it on the radio, bop. Yes. All the lights are down. That's true. And actually, I mean, from the I car like, ride where I, was I say, heard it, I was like, wow, that's like a real song for her. Very Janet Jackson Rhythm Nation. Yep. She seemed to have a wind machine, or that was just the wig. I don't know. I don't know, but it was like 
someone came down, oh ascended, you know, and was like fanning her yes. personally, you know, the, whatever. Th this descended was everything. I guess I take it back. I mean, she definitely was in the top, for sure. Yes. It was tough. It, it was, was a tough. tough night. Yeah. Maybe you fix the rules so it's not like someone's well, behind and then you have to, like, overcompensate. I, if anything, I would have said, like, okay, halfway through, no one gets blocked, but right. also double stars yeah. or something. Get rid of it. Also, Brian and I had a good idea. <laughs> they they should have voted for Miss Congeniality, and Miss Congeniality gets an extra star. Sure. Yeah, Shay was great. Yeah. This was fabulous. Yes. And, um... This is pretty outstanding. Uh, yes. Next, out, Raja. Yeah. In this traditional Balinese uh, dance number, uh, the music was a Philip Glass nightmare. <laughs> and it made me very anxious. And, um, I didn't like it. But... She looked gorgeous. She sold the shit out of it. Yes. The makeup, all of the performance, the dance was like very engaging. Whatever the time code, chaotic, I was like, I am, I need to leave. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but like it was just a personal thing where I was like, oh no, this is a nightmare. <laughs> it's like the soundtrack to Call Me By Your Name. I was just like, I have to leave. I have to leave right now. It was that thing in Rope where they've got the, the metronome yes, going and, yes, he's, and playing, he's playing. And, and it was like, like yeah. I'm so sorry. This is my own thing. Yes. It's no shade yes. to if you like this music. But it was a personal nightmare for me. Sure. About a year ago, I was up at the farm, you remember? One morning I saw you display your handiwork. I also thought, like, for the story that she told at the end was so touching. Amazing. Fantastic. Um, and I hope the Indonesian Tourism Board does hire her. Yes! They would be amiss if they didn't. Absolutely. Um, so next out, the Vivian on the set of uh, Phantom of the Opera, these candelabras. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. Apparently Diane Warren wrote her her song. She's like been nominated right. for like every year. It's like yes. and Diane Warren for best song for Oscar. Yeah. It's just like it was like by at this point it was like and she's singing this. It was just a little forgettable. It was a little less. The look was a little forgettable. Specific and the, personal and like there was just so much that had come that was like referential right. or incredibly right. emotionally personal and culturally relevant. relevant. Like, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're just kind of like, I'm a bitch on. It was bad placement for her more than anything. You Very know what I bad. mean? If she was first to be like, yeah, that was great. That was fun. She I liked it. Job. Good yeah. for you. Yeah. Yeah. No one is bad. No. What are you going to do? No one goes home. <laughs> no one goes home. So then last, Monet Exchange singing opera. I thought it was a really missed opportunity to put that basso in your walk. Cover girl. Put that boss up right now. It's, it's, it's quite silly. Well, you know, like they, yeah. they love their puns on well, the runway. Well, this was, I mean, it, it was, this was strange because so she's got these like wee Greek columns behind her with, with like vines. You know? I don't think I noticed. Yeah, because no, they were wee. It was like, you know, in, in, um, in Spinal Tap when Stonehenge finally comes down and it's like, wee. Beneath the haunted moon for fear that daybreak, I come too soon. You know, and you're like, oh, that's less impressive. So there, she's supposed to be on this like balcony singing to like, and it, and it was like, a little tiny. And then, and then, and then like the, the smoke was going. So right. I don't know if that was supposed to be funny, but I was like, this is what's going on. But this was so impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly the most like, whoa, talent show. Yes, you know well, what sure, I mean? like, variety. As far as, like, yeah. like the only talent shows I've ever been to are like in high school when it's like, and so-and-so does her Irish dance because she's right. that girl that does the Irish dance. And yep. like so-and-so plays piano because she's been taking piano lessons for 12 years. Yep. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. there's more variety going on. Right. So this was definitely like, oh shit, you yeah. can sing fucking opera? opera. Yeah, it, it was different. Yeah, I thought and the look was, was like it was this painted on <gasps> I Grecian. thought it was gorgeous. Oh, I loved it. Oh my God, oh, yeah. I, you know, it was very, she was like the Greek chorus in Hercules, you know, yes. Uh, yes. coming out of the vase. Yes. You know, it was yes. very that. And did her wig bother you? Was it Only a little. Just the, 
It, it didn't fully set it off, but the little pins inside, it was like, oh, uh, yeah, a little, but. Where I was, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Oh, I, no. Just, I looked down, I looked at her face. Is Andrew going to be okay? Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, but this was very impressive and obviously like the most sort of like, what? Out of the box, unexpected yes. um, thing. And um, I guess I would say for this. It show, helped, I think, because like just listening, you're like, oh, great. That was great. But the juxtaposition of. The, the outfit. The drag queen. They're singing. And that's what I'll say, because when I heard it come on in the car. I was like, what an interesting choice. And like, I was kind of like, you know, I wish she had done like, maybe you start in the basso, but then you go and, and I don't you do know something draggier. I don't know if she has the range. I don't, know, I don't think she has the range. But also, the, she did that visually, right? You know, oh, she comes out and it's very... Exactly. I would have, I guess in the end it kind of was, like this was sort of like a fifth elementy vibe Ooh, of oh. like... Oh. You know. Yeah, that, now, because I don't know much about opera, but if it had been... Like a soprano or like a... I mean, she doesn't have that, but right. if it had been, um, if she'd found a way to to funk it up, for lack of a better word, um, maybe that would have been fun. This was still great, but maybe it, it that would have been fun. It was still great, but that was kind of, it was also <laughs> like the same thing of make it a you little know? draggier. <laughs> but yeah, I thought this was great. So, you know, they all had to do their charities and then, oh, what's your charity going to be for? Uh -huh. what, what's your charity for? I was really hoping that someone was like, oh, well, Rue, uh, I've selected the anti-fracking charity. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh, not that. Oh, the fracking? No, no, not that. <laughs> oh. I'm working with Greenpeace that I really have a strong commitment to anti-fracking. <laughs> I'll just wait for you to notice it. Mm. I'll give you time to look for it. <laughs> it was the Tic Tac lunches were, <sighs> let's not talk about it. Monet and Shay are in the top. They each get three stars. And we find out that because there's a tie between Jada and oh, Trinity, yeah. this was Monet intense. Having the most stars yeah. has to choose between them. On I thought the spot. this was some some bullshit. It was some bullshit. Um, All of it was bullshit. They should have had Jada and Trinity lip sync for it. Absolutely, it's a lip sync Lala Perusa. But first, they will lip sync at because, the beginning of next episode. Because don't get me wrong, I really really enjoyed Shay and Monet's lip sync. Oh yeah. At the end of this, but for what? Right. There, I guess money, but like. Right. There's the charity gets. Do a more fucking money. tiebreaker for the top four. Yeah. Give it to me. Yes. So I thought that was some bullshit, and of course the second they said that, I was like, well, she's gonna pick Trinity, so. Like, right. It was like. Yeah. And. And okay. But Evie's like syndrome. Oh my god. <gasps> yes. Lip syncing look. I was like, oh no. Yeah. Oh no. I want to see it. Yeah. I want to see it. I know. Evie was bringing it. Uh, bringing it. Every Ugh. time. So they lip synced to Supernova by Kelly Minogue. Ugh. I thought this was great. Probably one of the best lip syncs of the season. Yeah. If not the best. Yeah. Uh, it was great. Yeah. Shea killed, killed it. Killed it. I mean, they both did. But they Shea, both did so great, but Shay definitely won. De Shay definitely won. This was a great lip sync song. Yeah. So fun, fabulous. Energy, fun, fabulous. Really, really nah. enjoyed it. Ba, ba, da, ba. Yeah, great. Really enjoyed um, it. Monet wore this outfit before, right? Yes. Or this, something. This so was it was her, like, like a promo look for something. That, it's not, that, I was like, wait, I've seen this orange and blue before. I yeah, know that yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah, yeah. it. Go, I mean, I guess do it. Go for it. Burn that look or whatever, you know. Don't burn it. No. Don't, don't burn that. No. Don't, don't burn that. Don't burn that. <laughs> don't burn that. Okay. I had a silly idea because like it was so absurd, the three stars of it all. And it was just like, you know, the rearranging deck chairs. Of it, I'm rearranging matches. Um, <laughs> what is it, Sebastian? What is it, Sebastian? I'm arranging matches. I think I better go. Yes. Yeah. I think you better have. <laughs> I better go. <laughs> yes, I think you better have. But anyway. Oh, I. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm. Oh. What? <laughs> I was saying that it would be really fun if it was like, because it was so stupid that if they would photoshopped all of the queen's faces onto like a horse. And they had little squirt guns, and they were just like squirting the water at the horse gun. Or they're like, just saying like, um, <laughs> you know, the <laughs> do pin the tail on the oh. donkey or something. I mean, you could have done that too, and yeah. that would have given us the same four. But it felt like any momentum we had, oh, just uh, was just like, and never mind. Like we're, and I don't really care. No one goes home. <laughs> 
you're a little apathetic about it. A little bit. Well, yeah. it doesn't really matter, so okay. No. Ooh, and look at that look. Like that's I don't know. They yeah. either had to have done more stars for longer or not just been Get like Get rid of the three. stars. Get rid of it. I do not care. <laughs> One more quick commercial break. Yes. And then we'll move back for the grand finale, finale. lip sync for the crown. Not really. <laughs> the queen of all queens. Did you hear that drama? I mean. A drama. That was what Chad was called. When she won All Stars 1, they said they were going to crown the queen of all queens. Well, we really got to watch All Stars 1 because I have zero, zero memory of it. Like, <laughs> I know two things. I remember two things. I remember Untucked and I remember the, the lip, -sync. lip sync. The Robin lip sync. Yeah. And, oh. Well, come on, Teletubby. Teleport us to Mars. What the f***? Teleport me to Mars. Mars. That's it. The, the, that's, uh, that's literally all I got. Huh. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. So, episode 12, the lip sync for the crown but not really, it's just we want to give everyone a prize and you two get the most prize because um, we wanted you to. We decided. And it's fine. It's fine. But here we are. And it's good, <laughs> isn't it great, isn't it grand, is... Anyway, it's very that. So Rue comes out and I was, it, it's box. It was very like, you know, not dressed as a fucking chicken. Not dressed as chicken it was very the lorax yeah you know pom-pom yeah. tree yeah. candy lane lollipop sure princess lady yeah. whose name is lollipop princess yeah or something i think that is her name <laughs> it was very that yeah but before the lip sync extravaganza we get a runway extravaganza yeah and first out jada essence hall the essence oh, of glamour my god this fringe silver 1930s, like glamour queen, Dorothy Dandridge, Lena Horne, yep. finger wave. Oh. It was perfection. Perfection. We've seen this look so many times. But this is like. But this is the best iteration exactly, I've ever exactly. seen. It. It's just like. Everything about it was right. Yes. Ugh. Ugh. So. The movement, the look, the hair, everything was the perfect. Elegance. Oh, she was so the eleganza. The way she carried herself. It was just like, fuck, bitch. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Oh my god, next up, Raja. Oh my god. This... Oh. Aquatic insect alien queen? Right. And the headpiece looked like, kind of almost like coral, or, or the way that it, it was, and it was weaved into the wig. Every time when she's like explaining it, right, she has like 50 adjectives. Oh my god, And I'm like, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yes. 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 And then she always ends it with, and it's just fucking weird and cool. And I'm like, <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> and it's just spacey fucking cool. All of it. All Every of single it. thing you're saying is correct. Yeah, it true. was so fabulous. Iridescent green. Oh, yeah. It was very like scaraby, but also. Yeah, like... very scary. It looked like she was in the most fabulous production of James and the Giant Peach. The scarab, you know, she was like the most fabulous creature from the Black Lagoon or something. Yeah, you know, it was like, just like ooh. something about it. It was, was it, but armor, it was like it was queenly. Like, yes, but like queens, it both, both regal, but also like henchmen. You know, it was like flying monkey type character. The queen of the flying monkey. <laughs> yes, ooh, but like beetles or whatever. It was it was great, I love this. It was so unique and different and cool. And and very Raja. And of course Raja wears this for, you know, Elegant, like it right, was, whatever, it, like the which, best drag. Which it whatever, is, but yes, like it, yes. oh, it was so good. This had a this runway had a great variety, yeah. which I appreciate. A uniqueness to each of them. They I really brought it to themselves. Really appreciated it. Yeah. Next out, the Vivian in this black feathered ball gown. It was nice. It was nice. The corset needed more structure. It, it needed looked, more corseting. I thought like it was and just some, kind of again some teat. Yeah. If there's room for teat. We need it needed just teeth. more shape to it. It was it was like a little squared off and flat. Yeah, and it wasn't quite a nude illusion. I no. Don't, I don't think it was quite trying to be, but then it wasn't quite... It was lovely, and she looked nice. Yeah. But it wasn't the best that she's looked. No. Oh, my God. So the next is Evie Oddly in this fucking cake and this wig. Barbie cake. She was a she Barbie was a... cake, which we have talked about a lot. A lot. <laughs> and it had wheels. And I didn't know it had wheels. It, you, they had little, like... So it could so it could move. Mm, oh my god! So good. So the hair, the candied makeup, candied lips. Uh, they were stoned. Yeah, but they looked like yes, little yeah, hard like, candies. You like, know, it looked like what are those those, those crystal those, candies. the things that come on paper and you like the old timey candy that no like one eats dots? anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It, just in that it was like boop 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 boop. You know. Sure. It was yes. very Latrice. How you yes. know she was just ah oh. yes. and this flattened cotton candy hair. It was like old cotton candy, but it looked good. It looked good. It was I. 
I, it would look more like a cupcake topping to me, but yes. A swirl. A swirl. Mm -hmm. Next out, Jinx Monsoon in this Mists of Avalon Guinevere Warrior Woman fantasy. We've never really seen this on the runway. No, I guess not. Like this sort of like King Arthur's court warrior, fabulous. The, the sheen on the armor, like it looked really expensive and it didn't, it did look drag and not quite LARPing, you know what I mean? Because she has talked about her LARPing past. I loved this. Did you not love it? I didn't love it. I liked it a lot. I thought it was just so different. I, I, it was different. I disagree. I thought parts of it did not look expensive. Okay. That was like the, the sheen of it, it just kind the of The vibe. Ran. I don't know. I was, I was excited was to see it. Well, and when she described it. A magnificent sorceress, witch warrior, decked out in bejeweled armor. I really enjoyed it. So the next was Monet Exchange, and I thought this was beautiful. This was like Wakanda holding a Met Gala. Like, you well, know. that's what she says. What would, what would you wear to the Oscars if you were, with Met Gala is a better description, but she said Oscars. Um, if you were to this, this is the Oscars, I, I don't know if you'd get past the press line. I don't know. What I <laughs> it was, you know, this nude illusion yeah. with like, Armor pasties? Yeah. I don't know. It was like chain mail slutty. But this big, beautiful, voluminous fabric yeah. behind her and the and bald head with like the, the, the piercing through the nose. Yeah. It was really great. Next out, Chez Coulee in this kitty cat Tony Braxton wig. Oh my God. With this dress that was like sun hats upon sun hats upon sun hats. And, um, <laughs> I liked it quite a bit. I liked it a lot. Yeah. I felt like for some reason I was like, if she was in waiting to exhale, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. Yes, very Angela Bassett yeah. like with the little wig and, yeah. and this sort of striped, color blocked yellows and browns and oranges. Very but Shea, it, but like it again. It looked like a, a pile of sun hats in the most fabulous way. All of the hats. Just wear all the hats. <laughs> or should I wear them all? Maybe I should just wear all the hats. So then next is Trinity the Tuck in this Bernadette wig, lots of curls. One of Bernadette Peters' curls. <laughs> you know. It's quite a few inches. Yes. On the wig. Yeah. Uh, this was nice. It was like very. Boudoir, burlesque, you know, pink, fluffy, girly, uh, sure. diamond. Not um, out of the box or particularly different for Trinity, but lovely nonetheless. Yeah. So we have reached the lip sync to the crown yes. slash the she done already done had hers is. Yes. Calyx, spin that wheel. Spin yeah. that wheel so that someone behind the wheel can. No, I'm sorry. It's... No one's behind the wheel. No, no, not that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's clearly remote controlled. It is set. Yeah. Apparently people were saying that it's been revealed by someone, I don't know, whatever, that the boxes both have the song, the same song. That makes a lot of sense. But I think the producers fucked it up. Oh yeah. I would not have made these choices. Well. I wouldn't have made some of the choices. I think it would have been much more interesting and competitive and like a fun thing to do different mashups and different songs for different people. But they had what they wanted to happen, to have to happen. Yes, so first up, the Vivian and Evie. Yes. And they get to lip sync to Push It by Salt and Pepper. I was like, hmm, I wonder who's winning this lip sync. Right. And even uh, Vivian was like, I, oh, can I pick the other? The um, other box. Oh, it has the same song? Oh, okay. Well, right. But what was the other song? Let's Hear for the Boy. Oh, right. Which was like Raja. Well, of course. You know. But also if it was Raja and the Vivian doing that, it would have been a better lip sync. It would have been a better lip sync. And if it was Jada and Evie doing Let's uh, would have been a Pepper, I mean, it would have been like, oh my God. Oh my God. I thought this was one of the better lip syncs of the yeah. night. I thought this yeah. was really fun. Really Obviously, fun. Evie, holy shit, oh this color blocked oh, coat. This Mondrian coat. Oh, and then like a button down shirt dress and this, this wig with the half uh, cornrows, half curly. Oh my God, it was great. Great. I was really into this. I, yeah. I was like, I want to be friends with this lady. <laughs> She seems fucking fabulous. <laughs> um, and the Viv did her I Can't Dance thing that she's done like three times this season. Like the same choreo. <laughs> Move number two, the teddy bear roll. <laughs> and like Rue was the, just like... <laughs> Rue was losing her fucking mind. <laughs> And she had done that choreo in the mini challenge of this episode. And I was like, girl. <laughs> but Evie clearly won. Yes. And this was a great lip sync song. And yeah. I was into it and this was fun. I yeah. really... Salt and pepper all the time. All the time. I thought this was probably one of the best of the night. 
lip sync wise. Yeah. So then it, it's Raja and Jada and let's hear it for the boy, which just always really makes me think of Queer as Folk. Um, oh, I just think of Footloose. Oh. Because I think that's what is what it's from? most famously from. Oh, sure. I mean, yeah. it's clearly not most famously from Queer as Folk, but it played an essential role in, in my... Development? Sure. Now you know what rimming is. This was super cute. I thought this was really close. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Raja was really fun. Jada was doing all the moves. It was like tight. This one was close. This one was me. very close. But I was like, oh, the second they picked this song, I was like, so Raja, Raja. is winning? Yeah. Yeah. It was like, oh, okay. Great. Yeah. Uh, I wish it wasn't telegraphed, but sure. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Uh, but she didn't do bad, and I was happy for her, because guess what? I love Raja. No one goes home. Uh, so she wins, and that's that. Well, and you know what I realized, too, is that, like, I think the 50 grand that she won now is more than she won on her season 12 probably. years ago. Maybe not so. with inflation, but probably. Well, <laughs> sure, sure, that's true. But everyone gets a scepter. You get, you get a, a scepter, scepter, and a, you get a scepter. A crepter. What does that mean? A crown scepter, because it had, like, a crown um, at the top. Okay. Because they're all winners. Next, uh, Calix, spin that wheel! And... <gasps> Jinx and Shay, which this really should have been the final lip sync. Absolutely. It was just, these were choices where I was like, but now we're splitting it. But they here. wanted to have the Monet Trinity. Of course, but who but cared? Who cared? It didn't I matter. Didn't... No one cared about this ever. It Nobody was not a thing. Nobody ever cared about it, except maybe <laughs> Monet and Trinity. So yes, we get Jinx and, at least do this one second. Sure. Something, because this was the best lip sync of the night. Yeah. So they lip sync to Judas by Judah, Lady Gaga. Judah, uh -uh. And this fucking look from Shay. Oh my, oh my God. This Daryl Hannah Blade Runner wig with this checkerboard dungaree parachute dress that then revealed the tool inside is also checkerboarded. The details. And then this, you know, I was hooking and I crystallized into a chicken um, jumpsuit, <laughs> bloody. I mean, that's what it was, right? But with the, the whole, this was so fucking, oh my God, I'm obsessed with this look. Yeah. So obsessed with this great. look. Uh, it was great. I really enjoyed it. But, yeah. um, but yes, the, the, and Jinx is in this, you know, red madame boudoir yes. kind of um, saloon. This was, was a lot of capography. A lot of capography. She really was working I, that cape. I did think she really did sort of cast some sort of spell. I thought it was fucking close. Obviously, Jinx was going to win because it was Jinx. But I don't think she totally lost. People I, are saying like... I oh, would have given it to Shay, to be honest. That's what people are saying. Oh. But there was some... Jinx was doing oh, some great. spell work. I, I oh, know. sure. It was a very close lip sync. Either way, Jinx was... I mean, it was like written in the... Um, in the book of, stars, with the eye on it. And you know, the, whatever. The, it was the, like... The, 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 it had, someone lit the black flame candle. Oh, no! <laughs> it had already been decided a hundred years ago in Salem that Jinx was going to win this season. So, like, what am I supposed to do with this? Yeah. Uh, I thought they both did great. This was the best lip sync of the night. Jinx wins because... Yeah. She had to. Obvious reasons, but I thought she... She did a great job. I mean, it was like out of control. Yeah. They really tried to They really tried to edit it in Jinx's favor. Yes. And I don't mean that to be shady towards Jinx. No. But it was so clearly like, yeah, she's doing great. Don't look over there. Don't look, don't over, look over there. Don't look, yeah. <laughs> no, look over here. Yeah. Oh, boy. So then Trinity and Monet have uh, pink. So what? I'm still a rock star. I got I don't my think, rock moves. Um, I don't think pink is good for lip syncs. No, I agree. Maybe if, like fun, I'm at the club, but like sure. lip sync battles. Don't love it. It has not proved to be uh, <laughs> successful. No. In the past. Not great. Or currently. This was totally fine. Yeah. And um, the editors had, a, I'm sure, a real fun time editing around uh, Monet mounting Trinity. Oh um, my God, just fucking. I was like, and they really had to cut the shit out of it. They. they Right? Oh, we can't show her like, like I feel just... like it's almost more upsetting the way it was edited. <laughs> yeah. Like not that it's but like I was like it implies more happened. You're like, what did I not see? I was see? like, oh no, I'm scared. Did something happen that is like I'm like, I need to know is Trinity like, Wait, was like there it's not a contact sport? You're like, I don't know, like it's their consent. I'm upset. What's going on? It was a lot. And it so because lot. it was like close ups, yeah. close ups, yeah. I was like, what yeah. happened? Thrusting. Yeah. Is just... everyone okay? I don't know. It was a lot. It was um, a lot. So that was the only memorable thing that happened yeah. in this lip sync. Monet won. 
Mostly because I think she mounted Trin Trinity. I, I, I mean, guess. I think that was she just dominated her to the top. So that happens. She wins. We get our final lip sync for the She Done Already Done Had, had Hers. hers is. Is. Um, I'm here anytime we get an Evie lip sync. Yep. I'm ready for it. Yeah. I'm hungry for it. This was I also a scenario where I was like, wow, that was really close, but I think Evie won. Oh, you're the greatest Raja because of course. Oh, um, this was above and beyond Evie won for okay. me. Okay. Like, not that Raja was bad. No. Absolutely not. But I was just like, and then Evie won. What are we I was like, yay, Evie gets 50 grand. I was yeah. like, what are we? Oh, this no. was the most egregious for me. I was like, <laughs> what are we doing? She comes out in this B. Arthur. Oh. Vegas stripper business fantasy and I was like I'm here I love it yes she's pulls a oops wig stunt that I was obsessed. oh my god you know she's she's going to Reseda yeah and um to reveal a better wig always the right choice and Rue is just I don't care at all right did not it was so weird so weird Michelle's having a great time she's yeah. like oh look oh, oh my wow. god but like earlier when Raja was like here's my baby Rue like almost had an aneurysm. She was laughing so hard. I was like, what's what? going on? And it's like, finally we get a, a it's not a, often these days that there's a wig revealed that is stun, surprising still. It's surprising, like, oh no, what I, mm. Yeah, I was like, oh no, Evie. Ah, I was like, I was like, is this on purpose? Of course it is, it's Evie. Yeah. There's something about, oh, of course, oh, it's Evie. Yeah. And she was better, she better. was flipping, she was, Doing splits, she was singing the shit. I love this song. Oh, oh we, we didn't, didn't mention <laughs> they lip sync to sisters doing it for themselves by the Eurythmics and Aretha. This was a great lip sync song. I thought this lip sync was very good. Uh, yeah, I liked it a lot. Evie won. Yeah, I agree. Uh, but just, you know, but whatever. It, and it, I love Raja, so who cares? Yeah. But it was just like the the stunts and shenanigans were out in full force. Yes. It was, um, why bother? Like, I think we just need to rework the finale at this point. Well, it shouldn't be a lip sync no. for the crown. There should be a lip sync. Absolutely. As a cat, as one of the categories. Sure. And then, I mean, we've talked about this. Yeah. Do your own little performance. And they did that with 14. Yes. Yes, I thought that was better. And I think the Shake All-Stars, maybe out. they'll figure it out. Find a way that this isn't always happening. Right. It's just so transparent. It's just so transparent where they're just like, well, we picked who we wanted to pick. Raja wins. Yeah. Uh, she wins 50 grand. Yeah, good for her. Monet gets second place and wins nothing. absolutely nothing. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 sure. Um, and, but we get to the last lip sync between uh, Jinx and Monet. They lip sync to Swish Swish. What by... the fuck was this? So, Who? okay, Who? I, I'll say this. Uh, I've heard this song. Of course. I think. Okay, great. So, people seem to have strong, I didn't. I didn't care for this lip sync, it was whatever, but like people seem to have strong opinions about this song and I'm like, what? Well, first of all, I don't think anyone ever really liked this song. Great, okay, I did not know that. This song, you, you were confused. So the flossing that Monet does was from this video. That's right. where it was introduced and that's what made it like a whole thing and that's part of why this song was so popular. I mean, right. it's catchy because it's swish, 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 swish. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but that was like the, the, everyone was talking about the flossing for far too long than it should have. Yeah. Um, That's why I was like, why is Monet flossing? Are people still flossing? Is, is flossing a thing? It, but now it makes sense. Yeah. But I just don't understand who chose this as the lip sync for $200,000. For the queen $1, of all queens, all stars. This is the final lip ultimate sync. lip sync. Yes. Like, oh my God. Like sisters doing it for themselves. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Would yeah. Be better. Yeah. Honestly, you know, Supernova from last week, sure. better now. Yeah. Like, what are we doing? I don't know. It's so weird. Like, did you notice the weird people are investigating? And um, covering the mystery. Of uh, Monet, you know, took out uh, lipstick, right? Oh, okay. And was like, mm, I'm doing this thing or whatever. And apparently did a whole bit oh. where she had asked for white nail polish and wrote Jinx's name on the lip sync and oh, maybe God. other people's or was doing a bit. Gotcha. They cut it entirely. Cut it. You can catch like one frame of like, oh, it says Jinx or whatever or something, but like you don't know what's happening. And, and I'm we're like, like, no, we can't joke about that. No, not that. We can't joke about that. And also that might give Monet the edge and we have to give Jinx the win. So it doesn't matter. I love Jinx. I love them all. I'm not yes. mad at the decisions. No. It just seems like it's pointless. The, well, especially that's so rude and unacceptable where it's like, oh, We've made it so that you have to have these bits in order to win these lip syncs. But also, if you do a bit and you win and we don't want you to win, then we're going to cut the bit. Well, and um, apparently the editing shenanigans this season is just like nuts. Oh. Like apparently they did give them negative critiques. Oh. And they just cut it all. Oh. Weird. 
Oh, but Jinx in this Bam Bam, yes, yes. Um, cheetah jumpsuit, K a lot of capography. Again, capography. You know, uh, who cared about this lip sync? Jinx won the season. Yes. And bravo to her. She was fucking fabulous. So fun. Killed it. Really great. Yeah. And everyone was great. And the season was great. But also, who cares? And I love Evie Oddly. I love Evie Oddly. And I'm obsessed with Raja and Jada yeah. and Shay and everyone. Everyone. I'm obsessed with everyone. But that really, was a great cast. But really, Evie um, yes. is the main obsession. Yes. And I'm wearing my biases right on my sleeve because I just don't care. Well, I mean, I don't know. Who said we had to be unbiased? We have a favorite, and it's Evie it's Oddly. It's Evie Oddly. She's our favorite. <laughs> Jinx has won the season. Yes, Raja. she dedicates it to he Hecate. And I claim this in the name of Hecate, mother of witches. Thank you. <laughs> Hecate! I love that she just witched her way to the top. She witched her way to the top. Bring in witch is a good name. I really enjoy it. And um, cheers to this season. Cheers to this cast. Yeah, great queens. Amazing. No one goes home!